What's going on? Mike here. I have another video. YouTube, good morning. How are you guys doing today? It is Friday. Um, man, I, I think I do work tomorrow, so it's not like the end of the week. But um, I don't have that much calls today either. We got about five calls. Um, I'm headed to my first call which is an install on a panel for a LG range it's got a crack in it and she's been having problems pushing I guess but anyway I got the part here I'm gonna you know take pictures installing it but it's pretty much the whole panel um, just the interface so yeah well I'll get that done uh, I think I have four warranty calls and one COD today. So that should be interesting. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to say that every day. So hopefully you enjoy this. And um, all right, I'll be back after the first call. Technology, right? Five control boards in this thing. <laughs> and not counting the one down there. So, oh man. Easy job, but you gotta take a lot apart to do it. It's stupid. All right, so as you can see on that one, um, just replace the panel. Nothing crazy, nothing major. Uh, you know, you just take it apart, put it back together. Uh, it took me about 10 15 minutes and in and out on to the next one this is a ice maker i guess a fridge having ice maker issues so um you know we'll see when we get there all right so yeah i took it all apart said it wasn't cooling properly and i got a defrost or possibly drain issue once i take this out so we'll see We got the back off. Looks like it is a defrost error, so we're gonna change it. Uh, the dumpster out. Hmm. I got one, so we're gonna take care of it. All right, guys. So, huh? That was a. Uh, uh, they had about three different people there. Companies there. Change control boards. Change ice makers and still wasn't working properly. But nobody went inside the fridge to check the evaporator to see that, you know. As soon as I walked in and they said, oh, it seems like it's not cooling in the fridge and I know that model. First thing I checked was that. And then like nothing but ice built up. Luckily I had the um, um, part in stock with me, the thermostat, the thermistor. That's what the problem was. Um, it just had a whole bunch of ice build up. Uh, drain was clear, so it wasn't a clogged drain. Uh, definitely that thermistor, so I replaced it and on to the next job. Um, this one is two in one. Uh, one is a stove, and I believe it's a, what's the other one? Uh, let me see what it is. And I know I got a COD no cool after that, so yeah, not, not, like I said, I love it when it's not that busy because, man, if I if I get five to seven calls a day, I'm still making money. So, you know, that's how that go. Uh, so I got a stove and I have a GE washer. It's washer not cleaning and the stove not coming on. The stove control that you turn it off is broken. Okay, so we'll see what it is. And then after it has a GE fridge, no cool. So I'll keep you guys posted.
okay guys so that was um as you can see with the stove um the front left burner somebody put on a uh, aftermarket switch and pretty much you can see the shaft was very small it broke so i just got to get a switch for that one i uh, got to order that part and the washer her complaint was it when it wasn't spinning properly so with, what i did with that was i just changed the pulley uh, those GE washers, this is a warranty call too, so warranty. Uh, those GE washers sometimes um, they'll have uh, oil leak from the gear case. Bad design on those pulleys, and those pulleys have no grooves in it. And it'll get grease on that pulley, and it'll slip, and it won't spin properly. I've had it several times, plenty of times. So when she told me that, that's the first place I looked for, especially because it wasn't given any error codes or anything like that. So. Got there, saw that was was the issue. I got a pulley on my um, van. I just swapped it out real quick onto the next one. I still got to go back though for the stove. So that's that. Um, yeah, you just got to ask a lot of questions. The questions will put you where you need to be or where you need to look. That's what I'm trying to, um, you know, like portray to you guys. Like ask questions, let them know, let you know what's going on, and then from there get out of my way and I can focus on what I need to focus on but um all right so I got a another call I'm headed to now this is a GE fridge not cooling properly so we'll see what's up with that one all right she her complaint not cooling so it's pretty much it's probably gonna be the fan motor I carry these on the truck because they happen so much but yeah Okay guys, pretty much like I said, this fan motor is bad. Like you can see, resist, it's, it's bad. So I got one on the van, we're gonna replace it and we're good to go. YouTube, all right, back. So that last call was a GE fridge. The complaint was not cooling properly. I get there, as soon as I see the model, whenever they tell me not cooling properly, the first thing I look for, is, is there any ice buildup in the back by that fan? Boom, saw that, uh, knew, I instantly knew it was the fan and I carry those fans on my truck. So um, got it taken care of. Uh, the main thing is you gotta ask questions. You know, the questions will lead you to the exact uh, problem and um, you know, it'll take care of the issue. So that's it for today. I am heading back on in, but um, yeah, I'm done for the week. I think I got like two calls tomorrow, but I'm not going to record those, man. I'm be, I'm trying to get in and be done. And um, that's about it. But like I said, if you guys, um, I'm only going to keep doing this if you guys like it. If not, if I don't see the response, I'm just, you know, it is what it is. But I appreciate you guys and I'll be back with another one. Peace.